Howdy folks, welcome back to Black Mountain. It is uh, the first day of spring, about halfway through the day, and it's pretty cloudy today. They're calling for some rain tonight. And uh, a lot hap has happened in uh, the few days since I last checked in with you. I got all those logs sent down. I got this thing repaired. And it actually works pretty well. It's, it's a little puny on the power. Doesn't like to climb hills. Uh, but it does a great job clearing out trees. So on the far side of the property over there, I guess that would be the eastern side. Kind of runs. Yeah, northeast side. And the eastern side. Kind of runs northeast to southwest. Got the trees kind of thinned out a little bit. And actually got another three trailer loads. So we're sitting pretty good in the money situation. We're up to uh, about 56 grand. And uh, the ground's still frozen. So while it's still frozen, we're going to get some more trees. Just thinning out a few more over here. Probably got maybe another trailer load. We'll go see exactly what I want to cut down. So that's the plan for right now. Just going to go cut some trees with this. And then uh, get some stuff ordered to get that cow pen built. And then we can get some cows up here and start seeing how that goes. I do have just a little bit of hay left in the barn. But uh, we might have to buy some bales to start out. We'll see how it goes. The first thing I want to do, though, is get a little more fuel in this guy. I've got uh, I've got these are kind of my emergency cans here in case I need to take them out. I've got these. I'm not sure how much is left in there. I can't really tell. But uh, this thing is pretty low on fuel. I'll just kind of put enough in it to uh, see if we can get it running. So let's hop in here. She may be old, but she does run pretty well. As long as you don't get on a hill, we'll do all right. Not exactly a powerhouse. Let's go over here by these barrels. Hopefully it will take from the appropriate place. Although I did notice Farm Sim was being a little weird. See, it says refill. But I noticed in my tractor, even when I was far away, it said a refill. So I think maybe this mod's a little buggy. But we're going to throw a little bit of fuel in here. Okay, so that, that was the last of that barrel. That should be enough fuel to do what we need to do. Let's head on down the road here at a stately nine miles an hour. <laughs> Got a decent little horn on it. And we'll see, I might, might get rid of that tree right there, actually. And then be able to mow a little more of this, and that wouldn't be so much in the way. So, this thing's pretty easy to operate once you get used to the controls. Get it up there on the tree. Give her a saw. I'm going to try to get that to fall that way. There we go. And you know what? I forgot to check my cut length. It defaults. No, it's it saved it to six meters. All right. Well, I kind of wish I hadn't dropped that now. I don't know that I can pick that back up with this machine. We'll give it a little tr a little bit of a try here. See what I mean about not wanting to climb the hills? It just it doesn't have much oomph to it. Oh, that didn't quite work out. Kind of wanting to uh, see if I could just plop that down over it. Does that want to grab? No. This may turn into an exercise in futility. Oh, look at that! Tricked you, farm sim. All right, let's cut some logs. 
This makes logging so easy, it's it's almost criminal. Now I got a little uh, sliver of wood there, but we can clean that up. Get a little less money for these 6 meter logs versus the 10 meter, but you know what? It's, it's worth it, just in trailer stability. Makes things way easier getting down the mountain. So let's ride over that stump so we don't tear up our tracks. Then I'm thinking about that big boy right there, and then this will be kind of thinned out a little bit. And we'll leave the rest. So let's get this guy right here. I'm going to actually go down on the road itself. We go kind of easy here. This machine is old. Yeah, man. Alright, I'm going to have to get a little more of a run at it. There we go. So I want to go too fast and then tear something up. Get right with it. There you go. Climb over. Good job. Alright, we're going to straighten this back up. And I promise we're going to get into something besides logging soon. <laughs> uh, I'll probably do a cut. No pun intended. Uh, once I get these trees down. And we'll, we'll get the cow shed built or something. But you know, we, we had to do a lot of logging starting this place, for those of you that saw the, uh, the first season. Kind of carved this farm out of the mountainside. And yeah, we're going to end up with a little dinky tree. Go away, dinky tree. Okay, fine. Go right to the pile. Doesn't want to climb the hill. Let's go sideways that way. There we go. Get up that direction. All right, so I think these trees here all around the house are going to be just fine. We'll leave those. But I want to thin out a little bit over here by the pond. And I need to get some grass seed down. I'm not sure grass is actually going to grow over here. This map isn't... Uh, it's not It's not been made for seasons. It just kind of is using the defaults. So I think we'll leave those three on the crest of the hill. Let's see if we can snag this one down here. Come on. There you go. Let's kind of work our way down in there. Beautiful. Is that as low as we're going to get? Alright, let's do it. Try to kick it. No, it didn't want to kick. Whoa, easy there. Easy. This thing is so puny. I'm not sure I can even drag this out of there. I'll work the arm a little bit. Let it get some traction. Beautiful. Now if we just swing this around. Should have some logs up here where we can grab them fairly easily. Uh-oh. I see what you're trying to do, the log, and I don't like it. You gonna stay put? All right, you're gonna stay put. Good job. So if we kind of leave every other one, you know, it'll it's gonna be not quite as dramatic of a change. I don't want to just clear cut the whole property, like I said. We're probably gonna have at least a couple more trailer loads. 
Pick her over that way. Hang on. I drag it out of here. Drop one right in the middle, maybe. Beautiful. Yeah, that's how that's supposed to work. Doesn't always work out that nicely. All right, we're going to leave that one, and then... Should I grab this one that's right here in the pond? I can see those roots maybe become an issue, so let's grab this one. Uh, machine. Nope, it's having none of it. Seems to be the problem here. That was fun. Okay, farm sim, play nice. No? Huh. Okay. Just want to cut this tree. Is there anything on the F1 menu? No. Get the uh, don't get the prompt at all. So well, maybe we'll leave that tree there, huh? Like we might be leaving that tree. Alrighty. Uh oh. No, we're good. I think. Okay. Well, we're gonna leave that tree there. Um, these. Kind of got embedded in the bank when I piled up all this dirt. So I really don't know. Maybe I'll just leave those, because if I cut it, I'm going to have a huge stump underground. Who knows what kind of problems that would cause. Now you may or may not notice over here how much I've thinned out those trees. Still got a decent stand. But I did thin them out quite a bit. Let's see if we can get one of these trees here. It's a little bit steep, so I'm going to ease down here. Slide a little bit. There we go. This thing does drive pretty well. It's just, it's just a little underpowered. Other than that, it drives really well. just fine on that tree. Pull that out a bit and we'll just drop the pieces right here. And they'll roll nicely into a pile. Right. Alright, I think I'm going to grab this one. And we'll kind of see how it looks. That might be about all we're going to cut.
pile's already a mess anyway. Let's just make it more of a mess. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. We'll get those stumps ground off and be nice and clear. I might get some grass planted in here, maybe. We'll see if that uh, will work out. I don't know if grass is going to regrow here in this uh, texture like here around the tree or not. I did change the grass on the map. Those of you that are sharp-eyed and watched the first season may notice. It's not the elephant grass. It's the good grass from the German map. Um, that may or may not cause issues. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. And another odd thing, I need I actually need to go rewatch the series. <laughs> Cuz I remember plowing fields for this grass over here. Uh, but these are no longer field definitions. So yeah. Not sure how that happened. Maybe that's something I ended up doing during the first season and I just forgot. Been a while since that first uh, 14 episodes. Shut this down. See, this isn't considered a field. But what I may want to do is replow this and actually plant grass to get a little better yield because then we could fertilize. Do all that fun stuff and get a little better yield. But in the meantime, I think it's going to rain tonight. Hopefully that'll get the ground softened up. As soon as this ground is softened up, we can get some foundation and some post holes dug and I, I want to build like a probably just a cinder block building put up a little fence and uh, that's where we'll have our cows and then we'll see how that fits into where the sheep area used to be I might need to dig up some of this and kind of replant some grass and jiggle around but uh, that actually took a little longer than I thought to cut the trees so I think I'll cut this episode here and in the next episode we'll see what the weather does and we'll look into getting the cattle getting the cattle shed built up. So thanks for hanging out as always, and take care.